So Seth Rogen, the famous Jewish actor, came under fire this week for comments that he made during an interview which were against Israel and about religion and so on. I understand he has since uh, apologized or clarified his comments. But I was thinking about this and of course why it caused uh, you know, a lot of uproar, if you like, within the community. And certainly I think you know, people are of course entitled to express their views. People are free to criticize Israel if they think they've done something wrong and so on. But there's, I think, a very underlying and important principle and concept that we should take from this incident. One which definitely relates, I think, to the parasha this week, parasha of Akev. Now, of course, Seth Rogen would hopefully understand that as a famous actor, someone you know, with influence, people do listen to what they say. They usually have millions of followers. That our words that we choose can really have an impact on the people that are listening to them. It's almost like this very important responsibility that anybody has that is in a position of leadership, in a position of power, and of course in a position of influence, which many of these actors and actresses are. And so when you choose your words, when he was saying things, you've got to think about what is the impact. And as I said, of course, a, people, a person is allowed to criticize Israel, but ultimately when he says something like this, the ripple effect of people who are possibly anti-Semites or people who might go against Israel or, or harm other people could be very, very significant. In our parish this week, as I said in Akev, Moshe Rabbeinu is obviously reflecting and reminiscing about the events that occurred to the Jewish people through their travels in the desert. And one of those events, of course, was the sin of the spies. You know, 12 spies went to go see the land of Israel. 10 came back with a negative report. And here again, possibly the mistake of the spies. And of course, there's so many different commentators who discuss this incident. But maybe these people who were leaders of the community, they weren't just, you know, regular people. They were in senior positions. They should have been very careful with the way they described things. And yes, maybe they even told the truth as to what they saw. But it's using their language, using their expression, what they were saying and how they said it to the community, which caused a lot of devastation. People were frightened. People were scared. They were crying. And of course, it led to the ultimate you know, uh, punishment of being stuck in the desert for 40 years. And so I guess Moshe was reminding us about the importance of thinking about what we say. And I know we, you know, as rabbis, I know I certainly talk about this message about being cognizant and careful with what you say, but ultimately really realizing that we have such a strong effect and impact with the words that we choose to say. And especially if you're in that position, as I said, of power, or leadership or influence. So let's think about that. And hopefully Seth Rogen and others in those positions, as I said, will think about, think deeply and say, look, I have the ability with my mouth, with my influence to inspire people, to encourage people, to lead people, to bring goodness into the world. And of course, I can do the exact opposite. I can destroy, I can bring things down, I can cause controversy. And hopefully we choose the former. Hopefully we use our words in the right way, in the inspirational way. And to, as I said, to try and make the world a bit, of, a bit of a better place. Things are not so easy right now. And certainly by using our language in a good way, we can certainly do just that. So have a wonderful Shabbat and hope to see you again next week for our thought on the parasha. Take care.